morning folks a little bit different day today we got a behind me here almost all um, gray sky over this way got a little bit of blue so I don't know for sure what we're gonna get this morning about daylight it was raining and actually uh, a little bit of lightning <laughs> my poor dog Lily she hates that lightning scares her to death but she's sure cuddly when it happens well anyhow um, I'm back to this fence which is about as boring as it gets I think so I'll try not to bore you too badly on this and come up with something else to do that I gotta work on this for a while this morning at least until it rains or snows Give these beaver tails a quick stir. Kind of funny, the ones that uh, are in there a little while, they're pretty even in color. The other ones, let's see, where is one of them? Those last two that the scales didn't come off of very easy. They're still, I don't see one in here now. There's one. Uh, Still kind of spotted. It's going to be real interesting to see how these turn out and see if um, they even out in color or not. Anyway, give this bark water a stir and get on back down to doing other things. This stuff's the full concentrated stuff, but I don't want it collecting on the bottom either. One thing I'd like to do this summer, that's my gold panning setup. I got a gold pan there on a backpack and a little sluice box. And man, I'd sure like to get back into that this summer if there's time. Never seems to be though. And I got a couple of metal detectors and things. It'd sure be fun to go look for some stuff. Hopefully it'll happen. These geese, they weren't there last year, but um, these geese are nesting up there in those rocks. They've done it in past years too, but it, it's so very strange. When I zoom out here in a minute and you'll see why. But how do the chicks survive Coming down from this. That cliff has to be 100 feet tall. Look at the size of this dump truck here. Well, I don't know, maybe you can't see it. Zoom in. Zoom up there to the dump truck. And they are clear up here somewhere. I've lost track of them now. Makes no sense. I guess those little... <laughs> I guess some little fluffy yellow buzz balls can bounce. Speaking of geese, we got our newspaper here today. Like I say, big, <laughs> big thick paper here. But I kind of like it. Anyway, it says here, power and phone out outages impact town. A goose flying into a power line at 6.40, 640 p.m. March 18, knocking out the power for 742 customers. Idaho Power Crew members were able to restore power by 8.30 p.m. So I don't know if it's connected with the phone or not. It says a phone outage affected customers of AT&T, CenturyLink, and Consumer, Cell Consumer Cellular beginning around 2 p.m. March 18th. The cause of the outage was reported to be a fiber optic line that was damaged. So... <laughs> I don't know if that article means the two are connected or not, but 
anyway, makes you kind of wonder, don't it? The guy on the telephone we talked to said there was five towers down. I don't know. Hard to know. Anyway, the this early days of Lemhi County, I've read a couple of these before, but some of these are pretty good. The uh, it says here, 130 years ago, the church was filled almost to suffocation. Last Sabbath e evening, with the intentive congregation gathered to listen to the special sermon by Reverend W.T. Robinson to members of different secret orders and public in jail. In general, I mean. <laughs> are they talking like Masons? What secret orders are those? And 100 years ago, <clears throat> um, Ma... Mr. and Mrs. James Palmer were on their way home Sunday evening with their little girl Sarah in some way caught her foot in the wheel, breaking both bones in her leg. The accident happened close to the Max Payette Ranch. When Mr. Payette was informed of the child's hurt, he rushed the sufferer to Dr. Wright's office who set the broken bones, and now Sarah is getting along nicely. Remember the John Wayne movie, uh, True Grit, with Lucky Ned Pepper? Well, it looks like he lived here 60 years ago. It says here, Ned Pepper, well-known salmon rancher and guide, was killed early Saturday when the car he was driving plunged over a highway embankment about half a mile from his home, 12 miles south of here. He was 49. It was Lemhi County's first fatal traffic accident since October of 1962. And... This one I thought was interesting, 70 years ago. I didn't know they'd been around that long, but Salmon will be the world capital of basketball on March 21st. That's when the night, that's the night when the incredible Harlem Globetrotters, magicians of the hoop, have been booked into the Salmon High School gym. Are those guys even still around? They were pretty darn good. I'm not even a basketball fan. Uh, another 70 years ago, the Sunset Drive-In Theater, north of Salmon on Highway 93, will be open for the season Friday evening, March 19th. That's kind of interesting. I, I, I miss those, too. 90 years ago, horse stealing seems to have returned from the days of the past. Sheriffs and other law enforcement officers of the, in the central Idaho country appear to be facing much trouble with the condition. So far... They have been unable to run the thieves to earth. And then this one I thought was really funny. Fifty years ago, we have a we have a ski hill up here, uh, right on the Idaho Montana line called Lost Trail Saddle Mountain. And there's a gold story up there that I want to talk about here when the weather turns a little nicer. Uh, about a cave in and a and some lost gold up there, but. Anyway, I loaned that book to a friend. I'll have to get it back first. But anyway, 50 years ago, two skiers joined the streaking craze by running the slopes of Lost Trail Ski Area Sunday afternoon in the nude. Witnesses to the incident said the two men in their 20s skied from the top of the hill and disappeared into the trees opposite the warming hut. Temperatures at the time were probably in the low 30s. The only apparel they had on were their boots and skis. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you don't want to fall when you're like that. <laughs> well, anyway. I heard those geese up there a second ago again. Not sure where they're at. Or makes you wonder how do they get down from there with them chicks when the chicks leave they're not big enough to fly they're still yellow I don't know anyway back to stringing some wire
But none of this, <clears throat> none of this stuff is really all that hard. As far as fencing goes. But it is time consuming. I tell you, I'm getting a little tired of it already. But that's one of the things I've always liked about ranch work. And this is actually just kind of another ranch job. It's about the time you're so sick of something you can't stand it, it's done and then you're off to something else. But, what takes the longest with this is uh, splicing the wire, tying it off, stretching it, you know, it's all time consuming. But, uh, what takes the longest about this, or... <laughs> most jobs is the thinking on it you know you you don't really want to do it so you put it off and you think about it a lot more than you should if you just get out and do it 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 really doesn't take that long Even so, I'll be glad when it's done. Got to be really careful not to pull too hard or it breaks the wire, but that's the heck of a fence stretcher. These um, ratchet straps like this, 
I had them on there just to uh, help hold the fence up if, so it didn't tip over before I could get it stretched. But this stuff is pretty tight now. Well, anyway, I had to tie that off and uh, splice on another piece and go around the corner the other way. All I've got left is from the track, from where the tractor is to the gate over there. So I got, I don't know, two thirds maybe. Like I said, I'm sure getting tired of it though. It'll be. It'll be nice once it's finished, but but I'm gaining. I got up, well, behind me I got some more posts of wire, but I got up to this post with the wire. This, um, this section here I got stretched to the tractor, but it should wrap around probably to about here. Which leaves me about 20 feet left that I need to find wire for. I don't know if I want to open a whole new um, roll for just that or not. I might have some. This stuff would work, but it would be noticeable.